Hey guys, this weekend I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. Um, unlike in the Lint series where I tackled like a new framework and a new API, I think in this video what I'm going to do is try to learn a new programming language. Um, when I go to try to code something, usually I go for Python. Why? Because I've been coding in Python for six years now. It definitely is the language I know the best. Um, but recently I've been looking into trying to challenge myself some more and just wanna learn something new and I think I'm gonna try Go. So what my plan is, is I'm gonna take this weekend and roughly 48 hours and I'm gonna to try to learn the basics of Go and then I'm gonna to try to build a full Go application. So what's the Go application? Well, it's gonna be a shill bot. Um, so basically I'm in all these discords for multiple like uh, communities that I'm part of and when I post a new video on the actual release day, I get a link to it and I go through all of these multiple Discord channels that I'm a part of that have a self-promotion channel and I put the link and I put some sort of message with it, usually just the title of the video or at least a link to the video. It would be cool if I had something to do that for me. Now I know there are things like this that already exist, but I think this is a really good use case for Go specifically and I'm really excited to try to do something like it. So my plan is to have this bot, this Discord bot, um, post into all the Discord channels that I want it to when a video goes uh, live. So the videos for me go live Saturdays at 8 a.m. So Saturday at 8 a.m. I should see, you know, that message populate in all those chats. So that's going to be the goal. Um, so basically trying to go from absolutely no knowledge of Go uh, to this kind of crazy idea of this like bot. And I'm going to try to do it in the sum of this weekend, which is going to be roughly 48 hours. Uh, so yeah, wish me luck. So I've been going through Go's documentation and um, I just set up a simple uh, server. So a simple like REST server. And so what it's doing is it's listening on uh, port 1111. Uh, and it can accept a request on the hello route and it should respond with uh, this response hello for shannon codes and if i open up my postman and i send the request it it does work uh so we're on the right track uh yeah it actually wasn't as bad as i thought it was so i think the next step i'm gonna get on is um actually looking at uh youtube it's webhooks. So yes, yeah, so I think the next step is this, which is um, using YouTube's push notification system, uh, like subscribing to it and getting some posts back. So like now I'm trying to get the data into method. So I think it's working correctly, but I uh, I think this is just the raw like data of it. I think I need to convert that to a string. I should be able to do that with a print F. Yeah, print F. Yeah. So yeah, let's see if this works. As, and pass that as a string. And now we try this again. Yeah, okay, all right, cool. So this is the uh, the dummy data that I'm passing, that I'm passing um, from Postman. I copied this dummy data and I'm passing it on the YouTube route and my, my code can see it. Uh, yeah, so that's good. I mean, it's pretty much the same data from here. I just modified it a little bit. Um, but yeah, because I actually don't have this up, this time I'm gonna test it for now, just using Postman and that, but that seems pretty cool. I mean, at least I can see the data. Now I need to work on this piece, which is parsing it. I was like, reading through their XML. They have an example here, so I'm trying to like follow this example to unmarshal the data, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So now that I have my server um, correctly responding to, to this response, I think last thing I'm gonna do tonight is get it up and running on the service I plan on running it on. So I plan on running this on Heroku. 
Um, I've used Heroku Dynamos in the past for other things that I've used, and I think this is a pretty good use case for it. I'm getting a lot of issues trying to push this. Like I've, I'm like I feel like I'm close. It's just got trouble with building it. Alright, so uh, it's the next day and I'm going to start with the uh, Discord integration. So I've done a Discord bot before, but I did it in a different way. I used uh, webhooks, but I won't be able to use webhooks in this case because I don't have server permissions to manage the webhooks of um, the servers that I'm going to be uh, posting the messages in. Uh, I can't actually use webhook, so I think I'm gonna have to use a bot user, and I've never actually used a bot user. Um, so I guess I gotta read through Discord's documentation on, uh, you know, being a bot user, and uh, yeah, see where that leads. I'll be damned. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> all right, so so I don't know why this is this way, but um, yeah, I'm not sure why this is this way. But so I was getting this issue where I couldn't create the the message, uh, and it turns out that according to their documentation, and by there I mean. Uh, Discord, according to their documentation, they say like if you want to use the create message route, you have to connect to the gateway once. So I've used the gateway before, but I didn't see why I had to connect to the gateway if I wasn't going to, you know, use like a um, use like a WebSocket connection. Um, but for some reason, that's how they set up their API to work. So anyway, I found this quick utility that somebody wrote uh, for RESTCORD, apparently. Um, and it's like a Discord, uh, it's like a live, it's like a PHP library for uh, for dis for the Discord API. But anyway, somebody they made this really easy to use HTML document, and it literally just pulls up uh, a page for you to put in the token, and you put in the token once, and it does a WebSocket connection for you in the browser, and that's all you need. You just need it to connect to the WebSocket just once. And uh, after it does so, you can freely use it to, for the rest of the API. So I don't know why they have it set like that. There might be some underlying reason. Uh, I, I'm not sure why, but I hope they change that because it doesn't make very much sense that you have to open a WebSocket connection at least one time to send messages over a REST server. But hey, I'm not. I don't know. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it was going to go. Uh, I ran into some issues with Go and like buffers and stuff, but I think I got it figured out. I mean, this Go code definitely probably isn't the best. I mean, I don't know Go at all, really. I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here, but um, it seems to be working fairly well. Uh, now we're at that wonderful part of coding where I have no idea why this is broken. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, it works! Woo! Ah, yeah! So I don't have an image in it, but man, oh, thank God that works. Uh, so, so I figured out what was happening. So I, I was like looking, I mean, I've been looking at this response, like I've been hitting it, hitting it, hitting it, and I was like, why 
why isn't this working? Why isn't it showing up? Easy explanation. So when I unmarshaled, I mean, when I marshaled the, the, the shrucks into a JSON format so I could send them to the request, I didn't use any sort of JSON. I didn't use these tags. And so this is what the marshaller knows. This is how the marshal method knows how to map your data. Uh, so when it returns, so basically it says when it makes the JSON, uh, like d d the, the JSON string representation of, of this, you're telling it that when you make it, make the tag you're gonna that this url field is going to become a lowercase url and that's important because in go variables are so this is different than any other language i've ever used but in go anything that's capital that starts with a capital letter is exported so i have to so the marshaller requires because it's using the reflect package from go it requires you to have these fields start with the uppercase they have to be exported um but obviously in the json format the the discord api is expecting them to be to be lowercase and it's case sensitive uh, and so now that i sent that now we get this big response and it worked and so if i if i sit over here and i pull up postman and i send this message you'll see them pop up over here, Shannon Coach just posted a video. So this is what it would be like every time a video actually posts. So now that all of this is working, I gotta push this up because it's just local. I gotta push it up to Heroku and make sure that it works. And then when once I push it up to Heroku and make sure that it works, I have to set up the webhook, which is YouTube makes a really easy way for you to set up the webhook. And then I'm gonna publish a dummy video and get it to to post. Uh, I also need to find an image to use, so I think I'm gonna put. Uh, my logo i'm just gonna like put it up on uh some sort of i'm gonna put it up on the web so that way it can be accessed and uh and use that so all right cool so give me a second i'm gonna work on that and then uh then we'll be back and i think we'll be able to wrap this up Woo! yeah all right cool cool it works it works so i can't show you all over here um because i have my like youtube panel up and i don't want to like spoil videos that i have planned but i can show you all that it does work so i just posted a dummy video and so it's this beginner python series spoiler uh maybe um and so yeah it's up there so if you click on this link it should take us there well Hold on. It opened in my other web browser. Let me pull it up over here. So let me copy and paste that link. And let me put it up over here. All right, and boom, it took us to, to the video. So that's really cool. Um, Now I'm gonna take down this video, but oh man, that's really cool. So it works. Uh, That actually wasn't as bad as I would have thought it was, Um, in all honesty. Uh, I mean, sure, it took a second to, like, figure everything out. I think the biggest thing I ran into was, um, Go. I mean, Go's got some interesting syntax, but I feel like the biggest thing I ran into was, um, not necessarily Go. I mean, I definitely ran into some issues with it, but I feel like more so the issues were just, um, me reading through documentation because... I, I thought I would have a leg up doing this project because I've done a Discord bot in the past, and I guess I have. Uh, but this was a whole new... I mean, this was just like a whole new animal. Um, and it was it was different because I actually had to use a bot user this time. So, yeah, so it was a whole bunch of stuff I really wasn't... I really wasn't expecting, so... Hmm. I guess... Uh, so, yeah, I mean... I guess that's where I'm gonna leave this video, you guys. Um, man, it's really cool. It's cool that I got to, you know, build a whole like application a weekend. I kind of want to do more kind of like videos like this, uh, it, because I think like I, I've really learned like a lot. Like in in this one weekend, just just looking at Go, I've learned a lot um, about like client about like clients and. Uh, the HTTP library in Go, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be, and it seems to be like incredibly flexible, so I would like to get some 
uh, even more experience with Go, so I think this won't be the only Go video. So expect more Go-based content in the uh, in the future. I'm going to try to clean up this code a little bit, and I will release this code uh, on my GitHub. So you're more than welcome to take a look at it and try it out for yourself. Um, but I am going to tidy it up, add some more comments, and then I think I will uh, I'll publish it. Um, so by the time this video goes up, the code should be available. So if you all have any questions, please leave it down in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if not, then you know what to do. Uh, please leave a subscription on the channel. That'd be really awesome. It really helps me know that I'm making content you all want to see, uh, content that I like creating. Um, also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That will be down in the link. Now. That will be down in the description as well. Uh, links to music and everything else. Anything I used in this video should be down below. So um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. See ya.